solve one example to calculate the net area in case of structural shapes like angle section and channel section if the holes are staggered in the two legs. So it is stated that determine the net area a n for the given angle for the gi given for the angle given in figure this if 18 millimeter diameter fastener are used. So the diameter of fastener or the bolt is 18 millimeter and we have an angle section on one leg we have one bolt and on the other two legs we have two bolts and it is angle section with 152 by 102 by 12.7 so this 102 leg is this one so here we have only one bolt at a gauge length of 64 and in this longer leg 152 millimeter we have two bolts at a gauge distance one <laughs> at a gauge distance 57 and 64 so if we see its elevation this is the cross section and this is the elevation view so this leg will be in elevation this one so here we have two lines of bolts one line here and one line here and these two lines are staggered and the stagger of these bolts is 76 76 and 76 a distance between these two bolts in horizontal direction and this leg will be shown like this in the elevation and this bolt is in line with the upper one so this bolt as well as this bolt are in line so the upper bolt and this bolt on the lower leg is are in line so here we have one bolt here we have one bolt so now if we cut it over here and then make it straight like this so it will look like this figure so we have turning line over here so at this turning line so this will be this leg upper leg 152 millimeter and this will be the shorter leg 102 millimeter leg in the upper leg 152 millimeter leg we have two line of bolt and in the smaller leg we have one line of bolts so ultimately the shape will be like this and the distance or the gauge distance between these two lines is shown over here which is 64 so 64 but the distance between this bolt and this bolt it should be measured from the center line between these two bolts and we have seen that this is equal to ga plus gb minus t in the previous slide so ga gb minus thickness of this which is 12.7 so the distance between the center line of this bolt and the center line of this bolt will be ga plus gb minus t so 108.3 will be the gauge distance between these two lines of bolts okay so now this figure is identical to that of simple plate or straight plate so now it's easy to calculate the net area so we need to consider different possible failure planes so this might be the critical section then this might be the critical section or this might be the critical section mean failure plane may lie between a and c a b and c and a b and d so if we compare this path these two paths are same we have same pitch or same stagger as well as the gauge length is same so path a b c and path a b d will be identical so we can investigate only for one so first consider path a c this one so here grass area we can find or we can select the area of this angle section from the tables which is 3060 from lrfd manual we can find this value minus there are two holes so two times diameter of bolt plus three so diameter of bolt is 18 millimeter so 18 millimeter plus three times the thickness of this plate and thickness of this plate is 12.7 millimeter the thickness of this angle so it will come out to be 25 27 millimeters so, okay. so the next path is a b and c so far path a b and c are a b d we have grass area that will remain same and there will come one two and three three holes in the critical section our critical section will be like this now from here up to b and then c and then this one so there will be three holes so n will become three plus times 18 plus 3 18 is the diameter of bolt plus 3 times the thickness of plate 12.7 so grass area minus area of holes now we need to add for this staggers as square over 4g so for a and b we have stagger value 76 so 76 square and the gauge value is 64 so 4 times 64 then for this b and c we have stagger value of 76 so 76 square and the gauge length is 108.3 so 4 times 108.3 multiply it with the thickness so we will get this area so if we compare these two areas this area will be the smaller value and this will control the or this will define the critical path so critical path will be from a and c so one thing that i think you should understand why we provide the stagger or why we arrange the holes in stagger so it is actually to increase the area at the critical section for example 
if this hole is at this location so in that case so for path ac there will be three holes and when the holes are three in this line so the area will further reduce to just increase the area of the critical path we need to stagger these holes so when we will stagger these holes so along this line the number of hole will reduce as well as when the path is this one so this inclined area or the inclined area of inclined line will be greater so we can add this much portion for this larger length so the length of the critical path will increase when we stagger the holes